Hey everybody, what's happening? Sammy the Thrifty Worker coming at you and welcome to another Wednesday video. We're going to be taking a look at the old uh, mongrel pale ale, do a gravity sample on that and see how things are progressing flavor-wise. So without further ado, grab yourself a homebrew and we'll get to crack a lacking. Cheers. So you know how home brewers we pride ourselves in being clean and putting things away clean. Well, I thought I put my hydrometer and my sample tube away clean. No. I laid it down on its side, put in this cover down here, and I went to grab it, and I literally just touched the end of the hydrometer, and it snapped off. So, no hydrometer readings tonight, which sucks, but. We're still going to take a sample. <laughs> really, look at that. That is such a rookie mistake. I can't believe I did that. Frig. Ah, it's frustrating. Oh, well, I was due for a new one anyways. This one was getting a little long in the tooth. But still, that's the first hydrometer I've ever broken. Ever. So we'll have a sippy poo of beverage. And we'll just carry on by collecting a sample, I guess, and see how the flavors are progressing. Okay, so we got our sample. It smells really, actually really good. Um, getting a lot of peach off of it right now. And uh, there's some wet sock, dirty sock, I don't know, something there. But I don't know. Give her a shot. So it's basically been one week-ish, give or take. I dry hopped it on the 7th with uh, an ounce of Centennial and an ounce of uh, Cascade, I believe. Um, there we go. That's not half bad. It's the funk is coming. It's not as awkward as it was before. It um, a week, well, those ten days basically. Yeah, eleven days basically have made a huge difference in this beer. Wow! Wow! You get some neat peach esters off the nose, and then. It finishes dry with um, a slight fruitiness to it and cl finishes clean, which is, and the peach is like still there, just slightly. It's just sort of like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's cool I'm really happy with how this turned out really happy because um, <clears throat> there's no dankness or grassiness that I thought I was going to get from um, the long dry hop basically because that's been going yeah dry hopped on the 7th and it's now the 18th so that's gives us a solid 11 days of dry hopping it is It seems to work with the Vermont L yeast and the, the bread that's in there. It it's it's a light beer. It's I have no idea what the gravity is, but I'll take a gravity sample before I keg it. Um, but this is really really interesting because um, before it was like the 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 funkiness wasn't quite there. It was more of a like almost like not really a wet sock or dirty laundry thing but like a wet dog you know sort of flavor that but it's more muted now and it 
the fruitiness, which is almost like a citrusy sort of, that works with the peach, is coming forward a little bit. So I think, I think, I think we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. I think we do. But the only thing that's going to help this beer is some time, because, like I said, last time I tasted it, it was, yeah, 11 days ago. Um, but I think what we're going to do, I was planning on kegging this this weekend, and I think we're still going to go ahead with that idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cold crash it now. I'm going to uh, hit the old STC, knock it down to about 4 degrees, and let things sort of crash out and settle. But you know what? Maybe I won't. I don't know. Maybe I'll give the Brett another little more time to do its thing and gradually let the, the hops that are in there sort of fall out of suspension on their own because I'm not I don't plan on I don't plan on drinking this until not this weekend, but next weekend while the boys are up and ladies are up for the uh, session Muskoka. Um but yeah, it's like three point nine A B V um at ten ten when I measured it eleven days ago. So I can only imagine it's dropped a little bit since then because it's um a little drier than I can recall. I have to go back to my notes and check, but that is tasting really neat. And what a great idea. I mean, it's a Vermont ale yeast with a... What is it? What else is in this freaking thing? Well, Funktown Pale Ale Yeast. Well, if you don't know what it is, hit it, hit it up on the Googles. And you'll see. But it's... That works really, really great. And I really want to do, like, my standard pale ale with that. I think that'd be really, really neat. But it's... The finish is clean, and it's like, it's slightly sour. Like, slightly sour slash acidic but it finishes clean and yeah frick that's awesome i wish i could take a hydrometer reading but we'll take one later on in the week anyways i changed my mind i'm not going to cold crash it i'm going to give the brett another week to do its thing and we're just going to let it do let it run its course because I, i'm only assuming that that will improve the flavors that much more and bring forward that slight citrusy notes to the forefront a little bit because um but it's slightly sour which is really cool man this brewing stuff is awesome anyways yeah i buggered up my hydrometer but i'm happy with the results i got so far oh that's really cool anyways this is sammy the 30 person i'm gonna do something to do with the homebrew I'll be all means keep common brew on and most importantly please be safe out there everybody and if this is, if this is your first time watching any one of my videos I encourage you to subscribe to the channel that way you get the little updates in your feed to see when I come up with new videos because I do a video like this every Wednesday and every Saturday and if you do post a comment I do promise to read each and every single one and I also get back to each and every one of you guys as my time permits anyways this is Samuel Third Brewer saying I'm feeling happy despite the hydrometer smash of 2016 this is a win ha huh. Very cool. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and again, be safe. Cheers. Take care.